I found these treasures on the overcrowded storage shelves at the Cairns Museum in about 2000. Oh, I was absolutely wrapped at finding something other than the thousands of European objects from early settlement littering the shelves up there. It was fantastic. Deity statues, carved decorative elements, altar decor, printing and fortune telling materials, processional items, timber furniture and musical instruments. There they were, languishing and crying out for attention. The artefacts from the Lit Sungung Temple in Grafton Street. Daz and I had been looking for the paintings on glass to use in the Chinese display. And as each item was removed from the shelves, the obvious need for intervention screamed out at me. It was awful. Almost every object I inspected had sustained some type of damage since being removed from the old temple in 1964. God, there was borer damage, corrosion and dust and mould overgrowth. Oh well, every fortnight water from the defrosting fridge parked next door to the shelves pooled on the floor. Mm -hmm. Hello, immediate humidity problem. Fact is, the Historical Society just doesn't have the staff to extend care to its loan collections. And no one has checked this collection for years. I decided to visit the Chinese community with the Museum Development Officer, Dr Friend. Well, they owned the collection and I invited them to come and work with me to learn how to care for the objects and to take up the custodial responsibilities around the Chinese immigration stories for the region. Wow, <laughs> what a response. I'm really proud of our progress with the collection since 2002. We've done grants for restoration of six paintings on glass, purchase of small museum database, an artefacts cleaning workshop, significance assessment, preservation survey, and pesticide treatment for the altar and canopy in Brisbane. Oh, and um, delight of delights, we also relocated to a better environment with museum standard storage facilities. And yeah, guess what? We completed the database entry in the museum's Queensland Standard Project, along with just only four public exhibitions. The Dream is a purpose-built keeping place on land next door to Komonos House in Cairns Cultural Precinct. It'll be called the North Queensland Chinese Cultural and Heritage Centre. The plans are coming together and the building fund has been established to receive tax-deductible donations from the public and philanthropic sources. Are you looking for a tax deduction? <laughs>